Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm LJ, finish my channel. So today's video is all about brushes. So we're gonna be talking about face brushes and eyeshadow brushes. I have here a brush set from Amazon that I feel like is perfect for beginners because it's very, very affordable. So that's what I'll be sharing with you guys in the video and I'll also be demonstrating how I use the brushes. So if you're interested, keep on watching. But if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and join the LJ family. Also hit the bell so you're always notified of a new update. Upload. So without further ado, let's get into the video. KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's popping. Welcome to a YouTube. So today's video is sponsored by Vestope. So they were kind enough to send me some brush sets. So Vestope was founded in 2014 and it is a constantly evolving innovative beauty brand and they focus mainly on makeup tools. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a 16 piece makeup brush set that comes with eyeshadow and face brushes. The price for the set is $8.99. So it's $9 for the whole set. I feel like that's really, really affordable you can get it on Amazon they are the number one Amazon best seller when it comes to makeup brushes so I was really excited to collaborate with them because they have like over 47,000 reviews on Amazon and they have a 4.6 star out of 5 like so this brush set is a 16 piece brush set they do contain synthetic hairs which are the type of brushes I love using just because I feel like they pick up makeup a little bit better the color is black and rose gold so they also have a mirror with lights it's like a vanity mirror it has a three times and five times magnification and it's a LED lighted makeup mirror with touchscreen and it comes with a tripod to light up the mirror so on their Amazon store they have multiple brush sets they also sent me a 16 piece brush set with four pieces of makeup blending sponges and also one brush cleaner and it comes with face and eyeshadow brushes as well so the first brush is this brush right here this is a rounded foundation brush which I feel like is perfect to apply foundation it is quite a small brush but I honestly like really small brushes they're easier to work with because they can get in like the corners that you need them for I like applying my foundation with a rounded brush Brush first then going in with a flat brush to kind of like pat the foundation into my skin um, I do feel like this rounded brush is very soft on the skin so I use this for foundation application I do feel like you can also use it for powder foundation I feel like this brush can also work for that so this is the first brush so the next brush is this flat kabuki brush i also use it for foundation but i use it to kind of like press in my foundation after applying it and i feel like this kind of just locks the foundation onto your skin i feel like these two brushes can be used for liquids but this one can be used for powder and this one only liquids this brush can also be used for for applying makeup on flat areas of your face so like around your mouth area around this area so it's flat it's not small it's quite big so it's not supposed to be very precise yeah so that's what I feel like the flat part of it is useful for these two are foundation brushes so the next brush is this brush right here so I like to call this a bullet brush the reason why is because it looks like a bullet so this is a tapered concealer brush that I use for concealer the brush is very soft so for concealer I like it to be soft because it's under my eye I don't like it being rough so I like to use a taper brush for concealer because it's precise to get under your eye around your nose area down the bridge of your nose just because it has this tapered look right here which can really get on places that are hard to reach and also because it's tapered I feel like it's also perfect to blend out the reverse contour just because I feel like it's sharp and you can create a sharp precise line with this brush all right so the next brush is the brush that I use for contour it is this angled brush very very similar to the foundation brush but with this brush it's angled because I feel like it's perfect for your cheekbones the areas on your face that are angled so I use this brush for contour I feel like it blends the contour seamlessly it gives it such a straight look because um, your cheekbones are kind of like angled a little bit so I feel like it kind of hugs your cheeks really well to blend out the contour so this is what I would use for contour it is also a very very soft brush and I feel like it's perfect for cream and liquid contours so if you're using like a foundation stick or if you're using like a concealer or just like a cream contour I feel like this brush is perfect because it is a flat 
brush. All right, so the next brush is this brush right here. So this one is very similar to this contour brush right here. This one is rounded. These two have almost the same purpose, but of course, different products. So very similar to how you had like two foundation brushes. You had a rounded one and you had a flat one that you can both use for foundation. The same thing goes for these two right here for the contours. So with this rounded contour brush, I feel like it's for contours that are powder. So rounded brushes for me, I usually use them with powder because I feel like they pick up the powder a little bit better than a flat brush um, and they settle on the brush really well so that you can apply it on your skin. So with this rounded brush, I would use this for a bronzer because usually for me, like my powder contour is a bronzer, something that adds a little warmth onto my skin. So I use this for bronzer and I feel like it's perfect because I apply bronzer on my cheekbones right on top of the contour to kind of set the contour at the same time, add a little bit of warmth onto my skin so with this brush I feel like it hugs your cheekbones very similar to the contour brush because it is angled all right so next we're gonna move on to the smaller brushes and then come back to one of the bigger brushes and so after that I usually do my eyebrows so for eyebrows that they have an eyebrow brush so so this eyebrow brush comes with a spoolie at the top and then on the other side you get like an angled flat brush for your eyebrows I usually love using these types of brushes for pomades or gel for my eyebrows so what I do is I start with the spoolie side and I brush up my eyebrow hairs to make sure that they're going in one direction and then I use the angled flat brush to apply the product on my eyebrows I feel like the purpose of this brush would be only for gel liquid or a pomade so those are usually the products that I use anyway so I feel like this brush is very very helpful and I love the fact that it's double-ended so you can brush up your eyebrows and then apply the product on your eyebrows while you keep brushing them up yeah so this would be the brush that i would use for my eyebrows and then the brush set also comes with this brush right here which i also feel like you can use for your eyebrows so you can use to comb up your eyebrow hairs and then brush them or you can use it for your edges <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> No, but seriously, you can use it for your edges. So this I feel like is perfect for your eyebrow hairs or your lashes. You can use it to comb up your lashes just to make sure my lashes are also going in one direction before I apply the mascara product. So this would be perfect for both eyebrows and mascara. All right, so we're gonna move on to this flat brush right here. So with this flat brush, you can use it to clean up your eyebrows, which is what I did. I like using a flat brush because it's very accurate. I feel like it will clean in a straight line. You don't wanna use one that is fluffy because it can kind of like mess up your eyebrows. I like using a flat one because it gives you like that clean cut so your eyebrows look nice and clean. And you can use this with concealer. I can also use this to apply my under eye concealer sometimes if I'm going for like a very light coverage concealer. So this, I feel like it's a perfect concealer brush for your eyebrows or under your eyes or down the bridge of your nose right here. All right, so the next brush is this angled brush right here. So it's angled and it's rounded at the same time. So very similar to the brush that I used for bronzer. So this brush right here, I like to use it for my nose contour because it's smaller. Obviously, I can't use this big old brush for my nose contour. So this is literally shaped like the contour brush. So I love that about the brush because it's precise enough to get down the bridge of my nose and it's angled because my nose is also angled. Very similar to my cheekbones where I have a bone structure. So what I like to do is I like to place the contour on the bridge of my nose and use the brush and slide it down in a very curved but very sharp line and then blend it out with the concealer brush so this would be perfect for nose contour so the next brush is this so this would be a rounded eyeshadow brush so I usually use this for like warm toned eyeshadows just because I feel like they're perfect to blend out it's not a dense brush so when I'm blending like my crease shade I don't like using a dense brush because I feel like those don't really blend seamlessly I feel like brushes that are really soft to the touch are perfect to blend out eyeshadow because it's easier for you to kind of like go back and forth and blend the eyeshadow the next brush you have is this right here which is very similar to that first one but this one is bigger so this one I would use it 
to pack on eyeshadow if you have bigger eyelids i would use it to blend out eyeshadow but this one i use it to kind of just like pack on eyeshadow and blend it out around because this one is kind of smaller so it's perfect to get in your crease area and then this one i used it for around my crease area to kind of like diffuse the eyeshadow so i feel like these two are perfect they're basically like the same one is just bigger and the other one is smaller and then one is a little flatter than the other one but they have almost the same function so if you have smaller eyelids i would say use this one and then you can use this to blend it out but if you have bigger eyelids i would definitely say use this one and use this to blend out your eyeshadow all right so next brush is this bullet brush right here so with this brush i like to use this for the inner portion shade i feel like it's perfect on the tear duct and it kind of like brings the eyeshadow up towards your shimmer shade that you put on your eyelids so that is why i like a bullet brush because it's sharp and it also points up towards your eyeshadow and then also you placing it right on your tear duct area so it doesn't go all the way down here and you can also use this for your brow bone highlight i usually don't use a brow bone highlight just because i feel like it looks a little bit artificial on my skin um my brow bone is usually kind of like reflective anyways but if you're somebody who uses a brow bone highlight i would definitely say this would be a perfect brush for that and so the other three brushes are these brushes right here i didn't use them but i'm gonna show you guys the function of the brushes so with this one i feel like would be perfect for eyeliner so if you're using like a gel eyeliner and then you have this right here which is almost the same shape so it's very similar to this brush right here but it's just a little bit bigger um and this one is also a bullet brush i would say use this for places that you want to be very precise you want like to pay a little bit of attention to so if you have like smaller tear duct you can use this or you can use this to blend out like your under eye eyeshadow so this would just be a precise brush but it's generally you can generally use it for anything so the last brush is this brush right here this is a detailed brush so very similar to this one right here because both of them are detailed brushes these two brushes would practically be the same and then this one would be for eyeliner all right so next after doing my eyes i put on my lashes lashes and then i finish off the rest of my face so i applied blush and for blush i used the same brush that i used for my bronzer which is the rounded angled brush so this is also perfect to get on your cheekbones so anywhere i have a bone structure i like to use an angle brush it can draw out the contour or the product the same shape as my bone so with this brush i use it also for blush just because i place blush on my cheekbones and then i like to bring it up as well so it's kind of like the same type of shape that i use for bronzer and contour so all right last but not least is your highlight so you guys know i love fan brushes for highlight and this brush set comes with a fan highlighter brush i feel like this is like the best way to apply highlighter sometimes i like using bullet brushes for highlighter but i feel like if i'm using more so of like loose highlighters i like to use that brush but if i'm not using loose highlighters i like to use this angle brush just because i feel like it's easier to blend when you're applying the highlighter and it picks up a little bit of the highlighter so if you're not somebody who wears like too much highlighter i would definitely say use this brush because it picks up a little bit of the pigment and it also allows you to blend now i don't know if you guys know but for me me, highlighter is one of the hardest things to blend on my skin once you place it on there and I feel like this brush the angle of it allows you to blend the highlighter so this is a fan brush that I used for a highlighter all right that's it for this video these are all the brushes that I use to create this full face and I feel like these are perfect guys like they are perfect if you're a beginner or not even a beginner but you're somebody who's looking for a good brush set that you can use to apply a full face of makeup i'll leave the link down below in the description box for their store and also this brush set as well shout out to Besto for sponsoring you girl and sending your girl some awesome face and eye brushes i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave your girl a big thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the bell so you're always notified of a new upload. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's popping. You better subscribe, got it on lock, yeah. Got it on lock, yeah. Mm, we need more likes, more views, yeah. You can leave a comment too. Mm, welcome to our YouTube.
Welcome to our YouTube.